fact that, that I was reading that you think of Dolly as a competitor now. Because you have worked for her on occasion on uh -huh. shows. And I still and, do uh, on uh -huh. occasion. But you feel what, professionally, that... Well, I had to come to terms, you know, I've been an entertainer, recording artist, uh, songwriter, publisher for 23 years. Uh, and in my 20s and 30s, uh, oh, I'm telling my age, uh, and hers, uh, I had always wanted to be accepted in the business. And also, I don't think I ever thought of myself as a competitive person. I, I always was just trying to find my niche. And that was a very difficult, impossible thing to do in Nashville. Uh, it's uh, a society, the music industry there is a very closed society. And it's very much run by the, uh, well, I'll go ahead and say this in Nashville, the good old boy society. And so I was so busy Kinda trying like to Hollywood. serve. Hollywood. Right. <laughs> trying to find a place there and trying to be accepted and respected that I didn't have time to realize that uh, you have to be a competitor. It's not like with uh, Roger and his brother, you know, you're not running for president. Uh, but I had to realize that, you know, if you were running for president along with him, then you're still going to want to win. Well, see, for 20 years, I didn't want to win. I thought she always was supposed to win. Somehow, that had been programmed into me that she is supposed to win. But now, I don't think that she's the only one that's supposed to win. So I've kind of uh, developed my own independence, my own self-respect and love. And I deserve to have what's good in life. And I've earned my own self and my place in this world. <laughs>